My name is Lecturer Kilaji, Bishop Kenya, Michael Loltome, speaking in Kenya Republic, Nairobi National Government, or the seat of Kenya Government, all right? And uh, I'm in Mpakasi East Consulate, Mpakasi Village, what? This is my morning devotion, and uh, I'm going to speak uh, uh, this uh, morning particularly using the word of God because uh, when we when we read the Bible which is the inherent inflammable and inspired word of God I repeat it again when we read this book the Holy Bible and equally also the Holy Quran all right the Holy Quran is here because I've learned both of these theologies I said several times the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible. All right. We normally tell human beings uh, these are the inherent, inflammable, and inspired word of God. I'm a lecturer at I've taught many colleges, uh, African Land, uh, beside Bible College, Narrow County Government, Covenant College of Mission International, Narrow County Government of Kenya, and Paramilitary General Service Unit. Uh, and uh, an official force equivalent to Kenya Army for 12 years as a civilian spiritual affairs instructor. So uh, I'm not short of telling you the truth about the Word of God through the teaching of the Holy Spirit, which is inspiring also me to speak the Word of God as one of the prophets. Okay? All right? Uh, who actually representing God here or not as uh, his multiple ordinate power to relate the Word of God to you. Having been trained for many years at the Capsa Bible College for four years, Kenya, and Vision International University, Ramona, California, United States of America, an affiliate campus of uh, United Nations, United, uh, United uh, States of America, United States of America, that is the great nation on planet Earth now. It was here in uh, Kenya. We call it the Vision International University. Ramona, California, a Credited university, well known, prestigious, and uh, I graduated also with a degree level uh, kind of studies. And I've also learned, uh, you know, uh, independent, uh, independent learners, uh, Islamic studies, uh, which is here. I say the every day and uh, every now and then, most of the times. As also a priest, which is living uh, within uh, uh, in uh, uh, within Kenya in a very volatile, volatile area called Marsabit County Government, federal state near the border of Kenya and Ethiopia, not very far from also Somalia border, predominantly occupied by Muslims, and I was given by American uh, missionaries and also God and myself to uh, having also a call to study Islamic studies uh, at the Columbia International University. It is here, the, the by study guide here, Okay, about Muslims, a division of uh, Muslim studies. If you want to read, it is uh, there for you. If you want to apply, they will accept you, like the way they have accepted me. And then you learn the truth of the matter of both of these books which are widely read, the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible. So the Word of God uh, is actually inflammable. What do I mean by inflammable? For those people who don't know the theology properly, when we talk about inflammable word of God, the inner, the inner, the inner, the kind of a statement, it means actually uh, the Bible itself. Uh, it is uh, it declare itself to be the word of God. Explain the kama barua umeandikiwa. When I'm reading both of this book, the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible, those prophets which are relaying this, which are relaying the message to us, have been told by God what to say. Like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Holy Quran here. All right, and other prophets also who have written uh, this word. They have written this word for us to 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 read to know the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter. Neno la mungu kabisa ni barua imeandikiwa sisi. It is a written letter to us. This one was actually written by a prophet called Samuel. Okay? If you read it, it is actually Samuel has written this uh, 
uh, this uh, first Samuel and second Samuel. And it's possible also is the author who complied, uh, who is co uh, compiled records of Samuel, Nathan and God, uh, okay, in First Corinthians 29:29, the same person. And it has written this message about 1,010, 1, okay, 2,970 before Jesus Christ was born. Long time ago and it's still applicable today. So when we say the word of God is actually the inherent kind of word of God, we mean yeah, it is free from, it declares itself, it declares itself, eh? Tunasoma yale ambayo imeandikuwa na mungu tuwa mesnena kabisa. It is God who said it is the word we are reading. It, uh, all scriptures is given by inspiration of God. And that is 2 Timothy 3.16. I said it another day. The Bible is also free of mistakes. We call it inflammable. Oh no, it is we make it we call it inerrant. Sorry to say that. The Bible is free of mistakes. We call it inerrant. The inerrant. E I N E double R A N T inerrant, and that one you can get it is free from mistakes from Second Peter chapter one twenty one. The Bible is also okay. I said it actually. It it, it declare itself uh, the word of God. That is the first point. All right. It is declare itself to be the word of God in Second Timothy three sixteen. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Aguna kitu ngine tunasema kwa, we don't add or subtract in Deuteronomy 4, 2. We are telling you the truth, what is written here. And it is actually, I repeat it again, it's free from mistakes. And I repeat it again, number 3, I say the Bible and the Quran <coughs> is not wrong on any, sub, any subject. We call it inflammable. Remember those words, three words. The Bible and the Quran is inerrant. That means it is free from mistakes. All right. I said it again. It, it, the, uh, that is Second Peter chapter uh, chapter one verse twenty one. I said it is actually it declared itself to be the Word of God, inspired Word of God, written clearly for us to read. Second Timothy three sixteen. And number three, I said also, it is, it is, it is actually the Bible is not wrong on any subject. Inflammable. So remember the word inherent, inflammable, inspired word of God. Those are three words I need you to know. So the Bible revealed to us, and also equally the Quran, did reveal a person. Matendo yako inaonyesha watu vile wei ulivyo. And it is God which motivates. It is a cause and effect which will cause that person to mess up for us to see who is this man. Because it's very hard for us to understand human beings. And that is why God sometimes causes them to make us to know them by their actions. Like now our president administration. Okay? President Ruto administration of Kenya Republic. Our president and his deputy president. God has caused these human beings for us to know their, their true colors, how they look like. You can read that one actually in 1 Samuel chapter 24, verse uh, 13. God has revealed the wrong a king of Israel has done. Alright? For people to see. That, and that was actually David. Why could God make, could, could make someone to do wrong? We can read it actually in 2 Samuel. Chapter 24, verse 1, first of all. And then I'm going to explain. David account the, the fighting men. 2 Samuel, chapter 24, verse 1. Again, the anger of the Lord burned against Israel, and the incited David against them, saying, Go and take a census of Israel and Judah. God incited this person, cause and effect. Okay? To mess up for people to know the character of this human being. That to be revealed. So I say deeds reveal the character of a person. Mungu Munyai, we are told again. Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 1. And again, that is a, another time again. He has done it another time. Again, the anger of the Lord burned against Israel. 
and incited David against them, saying, Go and take a census of Israel and Judah. Now the question we want to know, why could God make someone do wrong? I'm reading from New International Version Bible here. Sondavana Publishers House, all right? Sondavana Publishing House, Grand Rapid, Michigan, all right? United States of America, the source of this Bible, New International Version. For the Lord give wisdom and in, uh, from his mouth to come knowledge and understanding in Second Pro, uh, Proverbs chapter 2, 6. So we are told here, it is not that God uh, caused David to King David to do wrong, like any human. David was capable of doing wrong on his own. God is not the one, who, God just wants people to reveal to this person. His pride of, you know, doing a census, you know, trying to do what God is, I have not told him, and I, people do not told him, you know. So it is not God which has actually caused this person, King David of Israel that time, to do wrong, like any other human. David was capable of uh, doing wrong on his own. Because we don't understand human uh, spirit, uh, the heart of human being. So the city of Kabisa, we don't understand them. It's only God which can understand human beings properly. But he sometimes he causes them. God can sometimes incite, you know, he can cause an effect to make people because God knows. It's only God knows human beings. So now for people to know him, who is this person, God can sometimes cause an effect. Oh, okay. So that this person will react and then people will know now the, uh, react, uh, the, the how this person behave. Because the creator. All right. It's only God who understands human beings. And uh, he knows that their the heart are so deceitful, you know? So deceitful, Kabisa. Eh? And uh, it is only God who understands you know, a human being properly, who is uh, it's our creator. Jeremiah chapter 79 and 10, it's read, The heart is deceitful above all things, and beyond the cure, who can understand it? The uh, opening and closing in part of the commas. I, the Lord, God, obvious, search, me, search the heart and examine the mind. To reward a man according to his conduct, according to what his deity deserves. That is why now God has caused an effect. Okay? We are told God actually uh, caused an effect. Alright? So that this person reacted for people to know this person's character. So David was capable of doing wrong on his own. That's what the Bible says here. God permitted David to pursue sinful choices to reap his consequences of his actions. If you read the whole of this chapter, you will see the kind of problem this man has caused uh, people to incur or to get out of his leadership, wrong leadership. So we are told uh, to incite in this case may have meant that God orchestrated the event that led to David decisions making, wrong decision making. All right. To make the, the question even more confusing, the writer of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 21 verse 1, Says, said, was not God but Satan that incited De King David to do wrong. Mark it that one. The apparent conflict between the passage may mean that God sometimes permits Satan to do things that subse subsequently are viewed as having come from God. Counterfeit. All right. The writer of 2 Samuel that case rep, uh, reports that God was ultimately behind David's action, King David's action, probably indicating that God had given David the freedom to choose good or evil. The writer okay, of First Chronicles recognized Satan as the more immediate temptation behind King David's decision making. Okay, Both views are correct. In the end, God used David's sinful desires to bring judgment for sin upon the nation of Israel that time. But God also came from this sad, uh, also came uh, from this sad event because of what happened there. The site was uh, 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 acquired where the temple eventually uh, was built. You can read also, can Satan incite God's people to do evil in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter uh, chapter 21, verse 1. Can Satan sometimes incite God's people to do evil? Oh, yes. David was a person of a, a man of God. But the king actually again turned to be incited by the devil to do wrong. 
So what we want to say here, deeds can reveal a person's character. In short, to finish this statement. Raila, today, uh, today, Daily Nation of Kenya Republic, we are told Raila said Ruth, President Ruto is not serious on, on, on uh, talks, which I expected again, having flopped several times and uh, killed so many human beings because of uh, power supremacy uh, uh, between these two presidents. The president who is commanding Kenya now with a larger number of uh, citizens, which is none other than the supreme power people's president, His Excellency Raila Molodinga, who is commanding the country. He has a three quarter of 50 million of Kenyans. And the Kenya Republic president, who is commanding po both parliaments, very few people. He has both them all, the upper house of Senate, members of parliament, the almost all, honestly speaking. I am a prince of Kenya Republic, president, uh, presidential also, deputy presidential also as per 2022, all right, political pressure of Republican Party, and we have been cleared and gazetted also by Andre too and also uh, Independent Electoral Commission Chairman of Kenya. I was supposed to be on ballot paper together with my president, but we opted to let these four people try. Our current president now and deputy president, and the president now also of people's president, President Ruto, and also people's president, Raila Molodinga, and others who are weak, two of them. But I was also on ballot, I was supposed to be on ballot paper together with my president of the Republican Party, partly independent also, his Excellency Nixon Wanyonyi Gogoba from Bungoma, a retired brigadier general, brigadier of Kenya Army, Kenya Defense Forces, retired. He was actually, I was deputizing him as a deputy president. If you don't know what a brigadier is, he's also, he's actually someone who is commanding brigades in the army, but, and battalions, a very big man, in the side of humanity kind of a leadership. But I'm also a civilian spiritual affairs instructor of paramilitary general service unit for 12 years. So I know also a bit of security. Myself, I was uh, training paramilitary general service unit here at Mbakazi, Phil, uh, Mbakazi Utawala College for 12 years as a civilian spiritual affairs instructor. Okay? For 12 years in the military camp, eh? an official force equivalent to Kenya Army paramilitary. All right? In equal capability of warfare, spiritual and physical. So, what I want to say here, Raila. I said Ruto is not serious on talks. So there's nothing we are waiting there. We are just warning people who are, and we are very sorry for the families who have lost heroes and heroines, who have been actually sacrificing their lives eh, on behalf of those of us living, although we are all going to join them if the government is not going to give us equitable sharing of resources. So that is actually what is happening here. As Mio Chief said, the President uh, engaged in a double speech uh, of a dialogue by inviting him through a social media. So that is a kind of a contemptuous kind of habit. You know, when you are inviting a, 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 your colleague of your caliber almost, uh, because even Raila Molodinga is commanding three, three quarter of 50 million people. So it's not somebody, just a mere person. But our president now, because of out of pride, uh, pomp of pride, Together with the president, all right, Kiprono Regati Kachagua, they, uh, they have contemptuous kind of behaviors to everybody, even to all Kenyans, which has now made them not to be in offices now because of mass action. Our president now is not assessing, uh, you know, state house because of mass action. Since almost March 20th, up to today, eh? he's not actually sitting in that office properly. And every day when we have a mass action, is, uh, he, he flees out of the country. And the other one also goes to Madira, uh, Nyeri, the deputy president. And the president goes outside. Like now when he, like yesterday, supposed to be in the country, when the mass action was supposed, is in Tanzania. And other times he goes out to let people just die and kill them themselves and come and see how many are living. So uh, the president of people's president, Raila Molodinga, power Power, uh, people's power, uh, uh, power president, supreme power president, His Excellency Raila Molo Odinga, said actually here today 
You can see it here. Yeah, here. Huh? Opening and closing inverted comma. Read it clearly. All right. I don't want to shit you. I'm a priest. He said actually, the president is not being being serious. If he want to meet me, he cannot invite me through a WhatsApp or social media, which is true. How can you invite such a kind of a person on a social media without writing a, a letter? You have to write it. Okay? You have to write a letter. You have to write a letter. Okay? You have to write a letter. An official letter. Okay? And then uh, now that will be, uh, you, so that it will be, you know, it will, it will be filed for eventuality, of any eventuality, if it has reached or not, if that thing, uh, if that, uh, you know, dialogue has happened or not. But it, this one is now doing anything, things in a, in a, you know, in an affair way. In an affair, not fairly way, but in a fair way. Not professionally. You, the office of the president must do things professionally. The president now is not accessible to State House, which was built by British government in 1907, and they are just renovating it, putting it, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, painting, but it was, it was intact. It was the president's office during British, uh, British rule, governor, called governor. He was actually the president. Even this country was ruled by Queen Elizabeth. Two, I'm living in the house which was built by 1956 by Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Queen Elizabeth, is a, uh, the house I'm living in now is a British house, not a Kenya house. And many of these houses are here, and many are in other villages. It was built by British on July 23rd, 1956 by Queen Elizabeth, the president of Kenya, a lady, her excellency. Okay? Queen Elizabeth too. So, uh, we thank God, and we thank also British a lot. Nothing this Americans have done. The other president is not accessible to White House. That one was built by British now, 1956, July. It is not accessible to except those the president at the Rambe House, Central Business District of Nairobi, capital city and national government, where the services are there. Neither is, uh, you know, leaders are also in offices. They have all fled. They are now in rural areas. People are not allowing them because they are not serving them. And the president has bought all the politicians, most of the politicians from upper house of Senate, Parliament, and also national government, the national parliament, national assembly parliament. All right? All the politicians have been given money, bribed, all right? Uh, from many parties, including even Asimio party of Raila Molodinga, His Excellency. Okay, and others, because, uh, you know, Asimio is uh, of Raila Molodinga, Supreme People President, is a, com a combination of 23 parties, the biggest move, revolution movement, all right? I am also in, now, I've joined them. I was uh, actually a uh, presidential aspirant of the Jubilee Reformation Movement. But, uh, you know, the president, the retired, uh, retired president, Uru Mugai Kenyatta, closed it for us. We have been supposed to be in a primary contest together with the current president, His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto. But the president of Ruto, uh, I don't know, we don't know what, what happened to our president, also our retired president, uh, Uru Mugai, His Excellency Uru Mugai Kenyatta. He refused us to go to party primaries. And I opted now to be a Republican party, as well as also, later on, we... We, you know, we tried actually in, and are uh, also independent, but uh, we are Republican Party uh, candidate. Eh? 2022, August, August 9, 2022 election. I was supposed to be in ballot paper. I'm cassetted as honorable president. All right. But uh, I normally want to, don't want to be a pride, to be in a kind of a pride kind of life. I am against it, seriously. All right. And Ezekiel 28, that's what brought the, de the devil, Ezekiel 28 chapter, the whole of it, that's what brought the devil actually down to the earth. All right. I am actually Kenya Republic priest, lecturer, clergy. That's my, what I want to tell Kenyans. Uh, other, 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 other leadership position of uh, Meshimua, what, what, that one will come later. All right. So what went and, uh, I know that I will be just what Michael, I will remain as Bishop Kenya Michael Otome in my character. Because I said, did this reveal a person's character? All right. So what I want to say here to conclude this matter. The president of people's, of Kenya Republic, people's power, supreme power president, Raila Omolodinga said today, okay, today in this daily paper here, he has answered the president exactly the way he has answered him. Through what is then in media, in that social media, like this one, as well as what's up then, in that case, the president of People's 
uh, our president, which is also mine now at the moment, because I am now with him, His Excellency Raila Amolo Dinga, the president opening and closing in the comma, the pre His Excellency president of Kenya indirectly now, because the other one now is not the of the office. The president come and the head of state, Dr. Ruto, is not in the office because of mass action. People are taking over the, that kind of, uh, you know, leadership. So in opening and closing in the party, His Excellency Raila Amolo Dinga said, the president is not being serious. If he, he won't to meet me, he cannot invite me through a WhatsApp or social media. It is here. I'm not adding anything or subtracting. Read it for yourself. It is there. Okay, which is true. So to conclude this matter, I want to tell Kenyans, after this, uh, people, after this uh, period now of time, uh, people are mourning a lot. Huh? Kenyans are mourning, surely, uh, because of uh, fallen heroes and heroines, both women and men. I just want to confirm my, you know, my heartfelt uh, humanity sympathy of Christ type in John uh, 11, 35. I'm weeping with them, those who have lost their loved ones. But remember, God actually will receive them in heaven completely. There's no doubt on that. Read actually Luke chapter 16, verse 22 and the following. He will be received like uh, Lazarus and others also. Okay? Uh, and others. And all, all those who are being were fallen asleep. They will be with Jesus Christ there, together with so many other human beings. They will be with God there. So have no worries. Let's just, uh, you know, uh, uh, cool ourselves. And remember now our president, God has revealed the character of our president and the president that are incapable to lead us. So let us also now take time and also allow this process to go on later on because of uh, Raila is against now as also reveal himself that is not ready for this kind of a talk because it's just a kind of a contemptuous kind of habit is not uh, going anywhere so people will resume actually I'm sure they will resume uh, you know mass action which will uh, unseat the president to step down uh, just a few weeks again may uh, I'm sure most likely because now the president is serious, that is what the, the, the president is saying, eh? people's president is saying it's not serious. So if it's not serious, then uh, people are to continue, re will continue refusing him to work in his offices, that is state house, and also, uh, you know, uh, executive officer of the president, executive officer of the president, Arambe House, which is the central business district of national government of Kenya, here in Nairobi. And this is now the head of Kenya, uh, Nairobi national government, is among the 47 county government and is the head uh, of all others, 46. So we have federal states with a small president and uh, and uh, parliaments and also county levels. We have 47 county government or federal state in Kenya nowadays because of 10, 2010 constitution. We have 20, uh, 290 constituencies with uh, parliamentarians. We have also, you know, and senators. Uh, we have also 1,450 wards assemblies, parliament, parliament regions, with uh, parliamentarian also people who are making decision makers, uh, members of parliament in uh, counties level or federal states. So that is the nature of Kenya administration now, where uh, the president is not accessible to his office. Both of them, Arambe uh, executive of the uh, president, which is, uh, I said it, and also uh, uh, that uh, White House, we call it. Uh, uh, state house, okay, uh, that is not accessible. So if he's not working, he should go, he will step down, he's supposed to step down and go to Sigoi or stay at his home uh, at Karen, eh, here in Nairobi. And uh, he has also a church. He has also built himself a church. We don't know the name of the church. We saw many pastors and trained pastors. And also the deputy president likewise. is uh, Probably his only wife is the one who is trained. I don't know whether he's trained or not. It's called Pastor Dorcas. So they have also churches, they are not supposed to go to other churches, they should stay in their own homes because they have already established their temples of their politics there. Although may God bless you human beings living in Kenya, and I'm uh, saying uh, they this reveal human characters, including president and people, each individual person, including anyone. Otherwise, may God bless you human beings living in Kenya, and be all, let us care, let us take care, uh, not to harm ourselves, but uh, just want to tell the president, the people's president, Raila Molo Dinka, if uh, the president of Syria is on talks on uh, matters which will be helping Kenyan to have equitable sharing of resources. Resume the normal protests and we are with you, we are behind you. And uh, until the president uh, step down and uh, step down 
to allow him to be our president, new president. And that's none other than His Excellency Raila Omolo Odinga. Otherwise, may God bless you, human being living in Kenya and beyond. Amen.